Hey, Rox here. So, golden tickets have been revealed for tomorrow. Now, I think, like, Fridays... Is it weird that... I feel like they've completely saved Madden. Like, I'm actually excited for Fridays. Now, it's gotten to the point where... Okay. Here's how embarrassed I am at the moment, okay? It's like... I'm actually... Grinding Madden in May, okay? Look look, look at this, dude. Look at it. I, I'm straight up broken they broke me with their wait wait, 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 wait. it's already done it's already done they broke me with their fan appreciation solos i did them all okay and, you know like you know other solos whatever I did those before but that was like earlier i straight up finished them all some obviously had to go a few times more and i actually finished the golden ticket tom brady and ed two tall jones yes most feared is live by the way uh, dude, see, this is what content is. I like what good content does. It actually makes us want to play the game. Like there is, there would be nothing better for me right now than to be over and just grinding MLB, go on to some other game, enjoy my life. But no, I try to get out and they keep pulling me back in. I believe that was a reference to of mice and men. But let's talk about the golden tickets coming tomorrow not the free ones that we got but uh these ones right here this card uh, so no it's fine i mean it's it's end game it is kind of weird that they keep unlocked at like 97 speed so you need a theme team or running back boost since he's, there's no power for golden tickets um he does have a future sign next to him so he's got ghost of the man and future on him um overall should be fine um i think he has yeah a el power elusive receiving so as long as he's got that receiving, if you want to put back to master, it's a pretty decent card. Much better than... What was that running back that got all the same slot? Oh, that was brutal. But anyways, let's talk about the other golden tickets coming tomorrow and the absolute disasters that these are. I I say this every year. and I, I guess I just don't have enough of a reach for people to... Everybody hear this. I w I'm willing to help you with any golden ticket. You, you name the card. You name the guy that you want to make. I will help you max it out, stat it out correctly so that way it can be the most powerful version of that card that you want possible. Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Now, my big beef isn't with him right here. You're not looking at the stats aren't the beef, right? We're seeing what he is on the front of the, the front of the page. It's a good card. Well, hopefully they maxed out uh, carrying along with uh, what else they maxed out here. But 89 speed, it's rough, right? Because like when you have Patrick Mahomes are there at 89 speed and then we stare at free Tom Brady, well, I don't know, is he locked up or something? He's making fake videos from jail on, on hitting hole-in-ones like a fraud that he is. Tom Brady, once again, on social media, showing big, fat, cheap. Um, but off of the weird things, 95 speed for Tom Brady. Free, okay? Patrick Mahomes, 89 speed. Like, once we get to, like, 99 throw power, their accuracies are over the thresholds, why would you ever use Mahomes over Brady? Just because you're a fan of the Chiefs instead of the Patriots or Bucks? I guess, but seems weird to me. Although I will say Tom Brady, uh, the downside of Tom Brady is I only see one field general slot, right? It, there's only one field general spot for like Hot Rod Master 3 AP. So like, it's hard to get, um, I was really looking to get Fearless, um, more, less expensive, but Fearless is 3 AP or I got to go Hot Rod Master 3 AP. So Tom Brady got his ability slot screwed up. And you're like, oh, great. That means Patrick Mahomes is going to have great ability slots. Mahomes only got one field general. So you can't put fearless on for as cheap as you can. Like that, One of the strong arms should have been field general. He would have been fine. Um, I'm a little disappointed in what the Mahomes got. Anyways, DK Metcalf, this card, 98 speed. Great looking card. Incredible. Cool. They made a golden ticket, 98 speed. This is the second one ever since. I guess they boosted Westry, right? Um, but a 98 speed golden ticket, this is what they really should be. Um, maybe even 99 speed on golden tickets since it's golden tickets. Like the last promo of the entire year in front of rookie premieres. Maybe we'll get power expansions. I don't know. But they screwed Palomalu. I don't understand what they did to Palomalu this year. But that was not very nice. As a Steelers fan, it's cool that we're getting him. But why? He's already short. Did they have to make him slow? Did they, did they force us onto a theme team? I get it. I'm a Steelers fan. It's, it's cool, but, like, if you look at, like, just regular old Palomalu, he, I mean, I guess he gets 99 speed, but he's 95 speed at, what's his base overall, 97? Powered up, 97. So he goes plus two overall, but they only give him plus one speed. They kind of screwed him, right? 
He's short. Whoever made this card, I'm sorry. They they killed your Palomalu. First of all, I don't know why you make a Palomalu. It makes no sense. The Steelers needed other upgrades. But secondly, dang, EA could have been a lot nicer to you. And then, look at this. This, this guy made hybrid times five? Why? Like, that's the biggest problem I have with it. Why would you put a hybrid times five? It blows my mind. I could have helped you out, man. I mean, to be fair, you're not really using a lot of uh, uh, a lot of different things in your safeties. Deep out zone still two AP. Acrobat still will be two AP. Um, but like, if you wanted, I, I guess I don't know. Enforcer two AP. I, would that have been one AP with a run stuffer? I don't know. I, I I guess to be fair, safeties not as screwed as other uh, spots quite like the quarterback because you really don't use a lot of uh, abilities on them like you would. Um, other positions in your field, i.e. quarterback. All right. And then the last one is Mr. Douglas. Again, at 96 speed. Brutal. Gave a Panthers uni. Was the guy a Panthers fan or a Packers fan? I thought, I thought a Packers fan for some reason made this, but must have been a Panthers fan to put him in a Panthers uni, unless EA just didn't, uh, didn't agree with him. But 92 agility? What? 90 jumping? This card got this card got bone worse than Palomalu, which I thought would have been hard to do. And these are just the front of the page stats. Obviously, I think they'll have like high end block shed or whatever. Palomalu kind of already had high end block shed for him. He was already like a perfect 335 normal, 335 wide safety. Yeah, he already had 98 hit power and 97 block shed. So they may have like up his press and what power move, man coverage. Yeah, I don't know how much better you could have made the Palomalu. But yeah, I'm sorry tomorrow. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the market while we're at. Obviously, we saw the fan appreciation pack sink the market just a little bit. We'll see if there's a little bit of bounce back right now. Let's kind of go on meander towards the marketplace and see what like 90, you know, high 90s are at. Is really those are the best spots to kind of judge how the market is doing. Um, much like uh, Joe judges or Judy judges. 96 is for 70k. 96 at 70k. Um, that is about, let me type it in, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, enhance. That's like a 1.89 and 1.9. What are 97s at? Let me type in 97 at the 92. That one is about, beep, boop, 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 1.8 per. So a little high, and obviously you can snipe a little bit lower than that, uh, filtering down maybe some like ultimate legends filter down too, because people run, people will pull a training variety pack and then just sell ultimate legends, whatever they're at. 58 for a 96. 58 for a 96 will be 1.58. That's about as good as you get right now. 1.58 to my knowledge. Um, 97's at 85. Uh, 85.6. Beep, boop, 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 beep, it. 1.65. So there you go. You can easily snipe around 1.5, like high 1.5s, low 1.6s. Um, filtered by position, obviously. But you can get some good stuff in here. Definitely something worth checking out. If you want to roll training variety tomorrow, I got to take a look at my binder. Uh, I got some stuff to quick sell, stuff to sell myself. Might even be worth waiting till like uh, Saturday or Sunday to sell off the binder uh, to kind of like uh, re-engage for next week. But anyways, that's kind of like what we're in. That's like the loop of Madden, right? Uh, Fridays, training variety back Saturdays. Ultimate Legend Limited is what people are pulling for. Maybe it's worth waiting till Saturday to pull. Uh, if you do have, if you can only pull one day, definitely wait till Saturday for the Ultimate Legend Limited, um, as you definitely want a shot at that one instead of no shot whatsoever. Even though the chances are you probably won't buy it Ho or or pull it. Hopefully the odds on golden tickets are a little bit better. I mean, on the plus side of these golden tickets all being like not really glitchy, like there's no quarterback Bo Jackson. I can show you the rest of them on their way. Um, Q Watch has got a great uh, a spreadsheet on it. The rest of them on their way. Um, the glitchy ones probably will end up being um, Derek Henry. He's great. The Vita Vea. Cordell Patterson should be nice. Vita Vea might be glitchy as heck, depending on his speed. Vic Halfback's probably going to suck. Uh, William Perry, fullback, much like Vita Vea. Heavy. I hate it. Um, looks like we got probably the glitchiest wide receiver. Oh, he's got bad ability slots. Uh, Foles is kind of tall. And then Ted Hendricks, strong safety, should be glitchy. So, 
Last few weeks of Golden Tickets, we're going to get some crazy cards. I, I, they'll probably split up Vita Vea and William Perry a uh, week, so maybe we'll get one of those next week. Uh, but anyways, those are the ones still on their way. Um, we already have, like, Cordell Patterson, CB, and everything, so really... Tony Romo and, and uh, down to Ted Hedrick, so what we got left. So I don't know what you guys are looking forward to. I think all these golden tickets should be right around, um, I don't know, what, 400K? Maybe a little bit more on release day. I would definitely wait because going down to like Danucci level uh, makes a little bit of sense for. Nah, that Douglas got screwed. Although I will say Cam Newton's probably still a little bit higher than he should be just due to name, and he is actually pretty powerful. Is Cam Newton the best quarterback in the game right now? I, I'll, maybe Tom Brady's free. That's hard to argue with. Yeah, he's 400K for Cam Newton. So some people are still running with him. I should probably sell mine since, you know, I got so many quarterbacks now. I just need coins for uh, more golden ticket pulls. But anyways, that's it for the video. I'll stop rambling. Tomorrow should be fun. I'll be live. Twitch.tv. That's GutFox. Uh, check that out tomorrow. We'll be rolling form with the TVP. Otherwise, um, peace, E E. Please use code GutFacts at Underdog Fantasy. It is the number one way of financially supporting me. Thank you, guys. Really helps out. Um, that is it. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I will see you tomorrow.